hi all so today in this video we'll be learning a new topic it's uh, debugging a script uh, using playwright so we already learned about trace viewer right in some of uh, in previous in some previous video uh, so trace viewer is one of the ways uh, to debug your script but there is an, one more way uh, through which you can debug as well so that is given here right i mean uh, if you open this playwright documentation and comes to the inspector here so you will see like a playwright inspector we already know about it right so but here you can see like pwd pw debug so that is playwright debug this uh, there is an environment variable is there so we need to set that environment to one okay and then we need to execute our test normally like py test minus a so this is for output and after this your browser will be launched in headed mode so no need to use like uh, dash dash headed or something like that okay and timeout would be default timeout is zero so no timeout is given and also you can uh, set the breakpoint using page dot pause okay so we can try we can try this here so let's say after clicking on probably like that uh, okay up here I wanted to pause my script so page dot pause right so page dot pause maybe there is some issue after this uh, when, when I am clicking on this burger menu icon there is some problem just imagine it okay and uh, there is one more pause let's I'm giving uh, when I'm clicking on the logout button or before clicking the logout button okay so I mean not necessary but uh, just I'm giving it here okay now uh, next thing like we need to open here and uh, we are in the terminal so go to the terminal and hit uh, first we need to set this environment available to one so pw debug no not like that so set pw debug so this is given here like if you go to the batch one so they are saying like set pw uh, debug equals to one hit enter okay so this environment variable is set and now we can run it using pytest command so pytest minus s and they are saying like we do not need to use anything but here we have to give the file name right because otherwise all the files will be executed whichever uh, oh one more thing like we are not using pytest yet so okay so we are not using pytest yet right so we cannot use it so let's try with python one only so python basics and then source demo and hit enter so okay there is some problem uh, it's waiting for username one so we have to change it to username because some in my previous video I have made this change and uh, so I just rectified it now let's run it once again so and give the minus s as well okay so as you can see this playwright inspector got open because we have given this debug point here or the breakpoint right so currently this execution is stopped at this point uh, that is line number 26 so after this you should click on this button okay so you can see it here like this is pause page dot pause and if I just step over now you can see it clicked on this uh, burger menu icon because it's highlighting with this red dot and also we can see like uh, locator dot click and it's like saying 
it it is it is not giving this right sign that means it is in this point and it's like saying waiting for the select selector select and we can see like what are the actions or what are the things it is doing before clicking on it right or after clicking on it uh, probably there is some timeout yes so there is a 30 seconds timeout that is exceeded okay so it's pretty quick so we just need to use quickly so let's try once again yep so okay now step over so it's here right now and it's saying like element is visible enable and step is scrolling into view and done scrolling after that it will click so when I step over it now it just clicked and now it is here logout button dot click and if I clicking it okay now it is in assertion statement so once I click on this and this also passed and it closed the browser so like this we can very easily debug it like where is the problem let's say something is wrong some locator is incorrect or it is not able to click on something so you need to de uh, investigate it so you can use this debug option and you can easily debug it so you can put it anywhere in your script if it is a framework then also you can use it wherever it is wherever you need to put this breakpoint okay and use this feature like python dot basic and remember before starting we have to set this um, pw debug equals to one that environment variable you need to set okay and that's it for this video I believe and this can be useful also using this one playwright code generator as well okay so that's also fine they like they have been sent and they've given this documentation like the screenshots and everything that I have just explained so page dot click that same thing is there performing click action and that's all if extensibility can be reached it shows the action as pending so like this so if we cannot click on it some error is there uh, probably the uh, locator is not correct then it will give like this let's try this I mean I'm not sure why if the extensibility cannot be reached so let's run it once again and let's do one thing mm. Uh, where is the click option I think login button that click right so here I'm changing this locator to some and just making it incorrect so that it fails and I'm putting this page dot pause here okay and let's run it okay so it opens this playwright inspector right now yeah so we are on this dial number 17 where page dot pause was given now I'm stepping over so step over means it will just execute one step further and if I resume it it will just continually execute continuous I mean it is execute uh, other steps okay so I'm stepping over it and you can see uh, I think this is the thing if the accessibility cannot be reached it will show the status as pending so we can see this status is pending and waiting for the selector and I mean we cannot step over it right because there is nothing because it is waiting here this action is not finished okay so this is stop and after 30 seconds I think it will close the window I mean it will fail and close the window yep so 30 seconds is the default timeout Okay, I hope you have understood and thank you for watching.